Hi Venus, I welcome you all for the Ardent MDS. The topic for today's discussion is Metabolism of Aromatic Amino Acids. So there are three aromatic amino acids. Number one, phenylalanine. Number two, tyrosine. Number three, tryptophan. Right, how this phenylalanine to click? Phenylalanine having alanine. So that is generally amino acid have an amino group and a carboxyl group so with that one hydrogen and if the methyl group is there this is called as alanine phenyl alanine so it is alanine with that if a benzene ring is added it became phenyl alanine not exactly this just to have an idea about how it looked like right so this phenyl alanine is an essential amino acid which means you have to give it from the outside even tryptophan which is an essential amino acid which you have to give it from outside it is not synthesized in the body but the tyrosine tyrosine is nothing but with this phenyl RNA, if you add hydroxyl group it became tyrosine so tyrosine is synthesized from phenyl RNA. if you give phenyl RNA, the phenyl RNA in the body which is easily converted into tyrosine so tyrosine is not an essential amino acids because it is easily synthesized from phenylalanine. So, in case of aromatic amino acids, three aromatic amino acids, phenylalanine and tryptophan are an essential amino acid. Tyrosine is a non-essential amino acid. Clear? Now, we go for the metabolism of aromatic amino acids, which you have to know all these steps. So, please. Number one, the first mo molecule or first amino acids in the aromatic amino acid is phenylalanine. This phenylalanine which will be converted into tyrosine by the enzyme called as phenylalanine hydroxylase. This tyrosine which will be con converted into hydroxy phenyl pyruvate by the enzyme called as tyrosine transaminase. Later it is converted into homogenticide, myloyl acetate fumaryl acetoacetate the last molecule is fumarate acetoacetate by the help of various enzymes right so what is the importance of this cycle which you have to know metabolism which you have to know there are several mcqs which may be asked from the single view okay number one in case if there is defect in phenylalanine hydroxylase so Phenylalanine does not converted into tyrosine. Phenylalanine will be accumulated. Later, this phenylalanine which will be converted into several molecules like phenyl acetate, phenyl lactate that will be excreted in urine. So it is called as phenyl ketonuria. Right. So the second step, tyrosine which is converted into hydroxyl phenyl pyruvate by enzyme called as tyrosine transaminase. So, defect of this enzyme which leads to it is not able to convert this tyrosine to hydroxyphenyl by the way. So, tyrosine will be accumulated, which is called as tyrosinemia. Tyrosinemia type 2. Here. Right. Now, this hydroxyphenyl by the way, which will be converted into homogeneity by the enzyme called as the same ethne. Hydroxyphenyl pyruvate hydroxylase because this had a hydroxyl group. So that's why hydroxyphenyl pyruvate hydroxylase. So defect in the enzyme hydroxyphenyl pyruvate which leads to decreased synthesis of homogeneity mean more accumulation of hydroxyphenyl pyruvate which leads in turn leads to the accumulation of tyrosine. So, which is called as neonatal tyrosinemia. So, this is called as neonatal tyrosinemia. Coming to the next step. Homogenticide which is converted into meloyl acetoacetate which is by the help of an enzyme called as homogenticide oxidase. So, defect in this enzyme which does not able to convert homogenticide to meloyl acetoacetate. So, homogenticide will be accumulate so this is leads to alkaptanemia right last one 
fumaryl acetoacetate which will be converted into fumarate acetoacetate again the same name of the molecule fumaryl acetoacetate just you have to add hydroxylase so defect in this enzyme which leads to does not convert to fumaryl acetoacetate to fumarate acetoacetate so which is called as tyrosinemia type 1 so these are the things which you have to know related to the metabolism of aromatic amino acids like this single thing or single cycle which you can able to answer so many multiple choice question right so i just repeat one more time or recap one more time so defective phenyl and hydroxylase which leads to the phenyl ketonuria defective tyrosine transaminase which leads to the tyrosinemia type 2 Defective hydroxyl phenyl pyruvate hydroxylase which leads to the neonatal thiosinemia. Defective homogeneous oxidase which leads to the alkaptonuria. Defective fumaryl acetoacetate hydroxylase which leads to thiosinemia type 1. Right. Now we will see one by one. Phenyl alanine, the first step. See in your board, phenyl ketonuria, that is phenyl alanine which is converted into thiosine. By the enzyme called as phenylalanine ketonuria. So, defect in this enzyme which leads to the accumulation of phenylalanine. So, this phenylalanine which will be converted into phenyl acetate, phenyl lactate. So, this excreted in urine which is called as phenyl ketonuria. So, what is the treatment for this? So for these type of patient, you have to give phenylalanine restricted diet. And what are the tests which are used for diagnosing the phenylketonuria? There are three type of tests: Guthrie's test and ferric chloride test. Two four dinitrophenyl hydrazine is added, which gives yellow color. With the ferric chloride, it gives green color. So we may ask you all these tests are which used for phenyl ketonuria except. So for this we have to know the name of the test which used for phenyl ketonuria. Right. Coming to the second one, tyrosine, that is tyrosinemia. There are three types of tyrosinemia. Tyrosinemia type 1, tyrosinemia type 2 and neonatal tyrosinemia. So we have to know which enzyme is defect in this each type of tyrosinemia. So tyrosinemia type 1 which is the last enzyme in the metabolism of aromatic amino acid that is fumarin acetoacetate hydroxylase defect in this enzyme which leads to the tyrosinemia type 1. And coming to the second step that is tyrosine transaminase defect which leads to the tyrosinemia type 2. And defect in this hydroxyphenyl pyruvate hydroxylase which leads to the neonatal tyrosinemia. Clear? Yes. Coming to the next one, that is alkaptonuria, homogenticide which is converted into meloyl acetic acid by an enzyme called as homogenticide oxidase. So, defect in this enzyme which leads to the accumulation of homogenticide later, which is converted into benzyl isoquinone. And this is polymerized into alkaptone. So this alkaptone which accumulated in intervertebral disc and some of the soft tissues. Okay, and this is called as alkaptonuria. Clear. And the test for this alkaptonuria is Benedict's test. Right. What are the other biological importance of thiosin? Thiosin is an Aromatic amino acid with the help of two enzymes it goes to several pathway. Number one, thiosin with the help of an enzyme called as thiosin hydroxylase in the adrenal medulla, which will be converted into catecholamines like dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine. With the help of an enzyme in thiosinase in skin, it may convert it into melanin. So, same molecule with the help of two different enzymes in two different areas will be converted into two different molecules. So, in case defect in this enzyme, tyrosine hydroxylase which leads to the defective synthesis of 
dopamine and epinephrine. And defective synthesis of tyrosine is which leads to the defective synthesis of melanin. So the patient may go for albinism. Clear? So coming to the last amino acid, last aromatic amino acid, that is your tryptophan. Tryptophan again, which may go for two important pathways. So the first pathway, which is a kinurinine pathway, which it is converted into the hydroxy anthelenic acid. So that helps for the synthesis of niacin. So niacin is a vitamin. So that needs tryptophan. In case of tryptophan deficiency, niacin deficiency also occur. Again, this is one of the multiple chess question. And with the help of an enzyme called as hydroxylase, the tryptophan may be converted into serotonin and melatonin. So again, the melatonin is something different from melanin. Some students will confuse this melanin and melatonin. Melanin which is synthesized in skin. Melatonin which is synthesized in pineal gland which regulates the sleep. Right. And serotonin. Serotonin is the neurotransmitter. And increased serotonin secretion which leads to the carcinite syndrome. Okay. And this patient of carcinite syndrome will has Flushing, diarrhea, and vasoconstriction. And coming to the heart nerves disease. Heart nerves disease is decreased absorption of tryptophan in the intestine, which leads to the decreased availability of tryptophan in the body, which is called as heart nerves disease. So, what are the take home message? which we have to know in case of this particular topic Metabolism of Aromatic Amino Acids There are three important Aromatic Amino Acids Number one, Phenylalanine Number two, Tyrosine Number three, Tryptophan Among these three, Phenylalanine and Tryptophan which are essential amino acid Tyrosine which are synthesized from Phenylalanine So it is a non-essential amino acid Clear? And there are several cycles which you have to know phenylalanine to conversion of tyrosine and several molecules defect in this enzyme which leads to the several diseases like phenylketonuria, alkaptonuria, tyrosinemia and this enzyme's name which you have to know. And finally tryptophan which will be go for two pathways tryptophan which also used for synthesis of niacin and also for serotonin and melatonin. So for melatonin synthesis, tryptophan is needed. For melanin synthesis, tyrosine is needed. So don't confuse both this. So based on this, there are several MCQs which was asked in previous exams that we are going to discuss it now. So to start with the discussion of some few multiple choice questions related to the metabolism of aromatic amino acid. So the first question is about phenylketonuria. Phenylketonuria is due to defect in which enzyme? So the first step in metabolism of aromatic amino acids we studied about phenylalanine which will be converted into tyrosine by the enzyme called as phenylalanine hydroxylase. So defect in this enzyme of phenylalanine hydroxylase leads to the Phenylalanine does not able to convert it into tyrosine. This phenylalanine just accumulated which will be converted into several molecules like phenylacetate and phenylactate which will be excreted in urine which is called as phenylketonuria. So the first option is the answer for the phenylketonuria. Going to the second question, cabbage like odor is seen in. Like answer for this is tyrosinemia. Accumulation of tyrosine which it gives an cabbage like order in the urine. Right. Also, in case of phenylketonuria, it gives mousy order. And in case of maple syrup urine disease, in case of maple syrup urine disease, it gives the smell of burnt sugar or maple syrup. So, Maple syrup disease, the patient will have burnt sugar smell 
and frail cutanuria and we will give mousy odor and pyrocinemia it gives a cabbage odor these are the three things which you have to know here and ferric chloride testing phenyl ketonuria so for a phenyl ketonuria you have three tests number one Guthrie's test and number two ferric chloride test and number three two comma four dinitro phenyl test right so in this ferric chloride test which gives green color and in case of 2,4 dinitrophenol, it gives a local. Right, so these are the color changes which you have to know for the identify the phenylketonuria. And acronosis is due to accumulation of acronosis is nothing but it is due to accumulation of homogentisic acid due to defect in enzyme called as homogentisate oxidase. So, because defect in this enzyme which leads to the accumulation of homogentisic acid, so which is called as acronosis later, this homogentisate will be accumulated in the joint space which is called as even alkaptinuria, right? And question number 5, albinism is due to deficiency of, so albinism is due to deficiency of tyrosinase, so there is an amino acid tyrosine which go for two pathways so with the help of tyrosine hydroxylase it helps for the formation of catecholamines with the help of tyrosinase it produce dopa and its melanin so the defect in this pathway it is defect in tyrosinase which leads to Defective synthesis of melanin, so that is called as albinism. So, defective tyrosine hydroxylase, which leads to the defective synthesis of catecholamines. Right. So, next, what is heart tubs disease? Heart tubs disease is related to the decreased intestinal absorption of tryptophan. Right. So, this tryptophan, which we studied, which goes for two pathways, in one pathway, it helps for the formation of niacin in other pathway which helps for the formation of serotonin and melatonin in case if this pathway is defective or if the tryptophan is not synthesized or not absorbed which leads to the decreased amount of tryptophan which in turn leads to the decreased amount of niacin so decreased niacin which leads to the pellagra symptoms so the 3D of pellagra is and the first D, diarrhea, dementia, and dermatitis. And if you not treated these symptoms, which leads to the fourth one, which is called as death. So these are the things which you have to know related to the metabolism of aromatic acid. Hope this video and MCQ discussion is very useful for you. And if you have any doubt, Kindly call for a helpline number and we are very happy to help you. Thank you for watching.